Hello everyone, welcome back to Computer Science for Sultan. And in this video, I'm going to uh, teach you some attributes that you need to add them in your preference screen. Uh, so let's go to our preference screen. In here, if I come to okay, if I add the single line through, it means that the edit text preference will write your input only in one line, which is in horizontally and if you press the enter button it won't break the line so that's why you put the single line and put the value as true and the select all on focus what it does is that uh, it uh, whenever you open the edit text preference it if there is already text on the edit text it's going to select it all and put the value to true so let's run and see the output with your own eyes Let's compile and see what does this little liar has to say. Uh, so whenever I click on the store information button, so whenever I click the edit text, it's going to select all the text at once. Okay. You can see that. You can see the difference. So what does this single line do in here? Okay, whenever I write, if I click enter, it doesn't break the line. So it takes your input and writes it only in horizontal form so that's it let's see how to add our own default value to share preferences so you have provided your data in here so i want to put my data shared preference uh, to the default shared preference uh, without the preference screen how can we do that so let's go to our main activity so again you need to create a connection of the get default shared preference and uh, how can I add my own default value so I can use the object of default shared preference called the method edit and in here I'm going to put my value put, if you want to put a string you can choose a string boolean fluid int integer and a string set whatever you like you like so now I'm going to put a string value inside the default shared preference so the first one is the key make sure that you provide a key for the value because you are going to get your data on the basis of key I'm going to put my data and put your value in here hello everyone welcome to my channel And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that's it so now we need to commit our chains call the method commit okay if I put my cursor on this line so it pops a message and says uh, consider using apply in the state commit writes its data to persistent storage immediately where the apply will handle it in the background so it's up to you either you use commit or apply so again if you want to get your data from the shared preference your data that you have put it with this line of code you also the, do the same trick so I'm going to you shoot it using a toast message So I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to get it in here. ASP dot get string. Again, I provide the key that I've provided in the above. So I select this and paste it in here. So again, I need to provide the default value. Default value, and I need to change it to string and put the semicolon at the end. In here and uh, make sure that you shoot the toast message and also specify how long it lasts on the screen okay if you put a string inside your default shared preference make sure that you call the get a string method if you put boolean call the get boolean method and again you provide the key that you've provided uh, in here so listen and see what this little liar has to say
So when I click on show information, it's going to put my default data inside the default shared preference and uh, it toast my data back using the toast message. So let's see, you can see the data that you've provided inside that default shared preference. So that's it, end of fragments and uh, specialized fragments. So I hope you like this channel and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon if you're new to this channel. And if you're not new to this channel, make sure you give us a, you give us a thumb up and comment or uh, write your suggestions and uh, your, your suggestions in the comment section below. So based on your suggestions, I will try to create more tutorials and I upload them in, on YouTube. So t just tell me what tutorials or uh, I create and I upload on YouTube and write them in the comment section below. So this brings us to the end of this particular tutorial. If you have any question, just let me know. So make just don't forget to, to share these tutorials with your friends. Have fun learning and peace out.